Good morning. Welcome to your Monday. May the shalom, the wonderful peace, restoration, healing, all powerful life of God envelop your hearts and minds this day. Amen. So we are continuing with the letters of St. Ignatius. This one, more extracts from his letter to Isabel Grosser. And I quote, we do not have assurance that we will arrive from now to the following year, end quote. Now, many may not know this, but Ignatius was kind of sickly in his life and was actually near death on at least three different occasions that he specifically mentioned in his autobiography. So Ignatius was very aware of the fragility of this life. And as scripture says in the book of James in the New Testament, you know, for those who plan and say, I will go here in three weeks and do this and go here next year and do that, how do you know if you will have life the next day or in the next moment? And so our first quote, Ignatius made it in reference to, with reference to Isabel, urging him to ask other benefactors for help he would need for his future studies. And what Ignatius does is he begins by acknowledging that the future is yet unknown. But he continued, if God helps him to arrive there, he hoped that God will give him understanding and judgment to know how best to serve him. If God helps him arrive there. Hmm? And so it's really clear again, Ignatius's focus on what in our tradition we call purity of intention, God's greater glory and serving God, you know, was just the central driving force. And if God gives him life to continue to do that. So brothers and sisters, what if we tried to live today like it was all that we have been given. Let us pray. Lord, we make all kinds of plans and sometimes we act like we are the architects of our own lives and destiny, forgetting that life is a gift received, a stewardship given for a purpose to praise, reverence, and serve you. So help us, Lord, to put things in perspective and allow love for you to direct us in all we do. Renew in us the faith that was in St. Paul and in our father, Ignatius, that to live is Christ and to die is gain. Help us find a way to move forward for the greater glory of your name. St. Ignatius of Loyola, pray for us. St. Joseph, pray for us. Well, blessings on this Monday um, and continue. May God bless you. Continue to comment if things are moving or affecting you in some way. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Take care.